two, one, two, two. And don't let the tight. Is this working? In Dublin, we have seen places of historic significance destroyed, allowed to deteriorate by developers wishing to clear the past to make way for the new. Not alone does the agenda of greed level historical sites, it leaves inner city communities lacking vital resources. They could throw up Celtic Tiger apartments too small to raise a family in, but playgrounds and community centres had to wait. Developers treated the city like Lego blocks for the rich. Profiteers creating the conditions of a housing crisis in the city which we're suffering with today. But it's not always developers that create the crisis in this city. We witness the disgraceful neglect of the Croppies Acre site which commemorates the rebels of 70 and 90. Thankfully, in recent times, that park is reopened to the public, but there's still plenty of work to do there too. Here, though, what we have is people taking control of the direction the city is going in and making it perfectly clear that heritage is valued and must be protected. This is a place of enormous historical significance and that cannot be denied. The National Museum has proclaimed Moore Street a theatre of conflict and the most important historic site in modern Irish history. Some historians and architects have disgraced themselves by trying to play down the significance of the street. Much has been written, quite rightly, about the architectural importance of Moore Street. But streets aren't just bricks and mortar. The street also has character. In 1988, Dublin Corporation put up a statue to a fictional street trader who never walked the earth, Molly Malone. But a real-life equivalent is found on Moore Street. There are people on that street who were there for decades and whose families were there before them. There are also people on that street from right across the world. Poles, Brazilians, Nigerians, Chinese traders. They all contribute to Moore Street. They are all part of it as well. And they are certainly more welcome than another shopping centre in this city. Moore Street today embodies the best international in, the, in this city. What is the internationalism of a shopping centre? Only a McDonald's and a Starbucks. We should remember in 1916 when the rebels moved through that terrace of houses, there were strange accents there too. Men from Salford and Scotland in the ranks of the Kimmage garrison. This centenary repeatedly has witnessed the government outdone by community groups who understand the real significance of 1916 and its democratic aspirations. The centenary will pass on, but that flame will still burn in people, and this campaign will be here in the long run. Not one hammer, not one tool should be raised on that street without proper and independent observation. Let our slogan be, no more wood keys. During the construction of the civic offices, the site was occupied by protesters much like Moore Street was in recent times. And the great writer James Plunkett, who gave us Strumpet City, told a, a journalist then that by destroying Wood Key, we are making a disgrace of ourselves and our city in front of the world. Well, in defending the heritage of Moore Street, we redeem this city. We must stand by Moore Street in this centenary year and into the future as well. Thank you. Um, uh...